So you hear this term FTP thrown around. And FTP is an acronym that stands for functional threshold power. You might also hear this term as threshold power or threshold level power. There's all sorts of different terms thrown around to mean the same thing. So what is FTP? What is your functional threshold power supposed to do? Well, functional threshold power is actually a proxy for a term known as lactate threshold. And this is more of an advanced scientific concept when it comes to training. And what lactate threshold is, is actually an output level that's that break even point between how quickly the body is building up lactate in the muscles and how quickly the body can kind of flush that or clear that to continue to work. When lactate builds up, you start to break down. You feel that burning sensation in your muscles and your body starts to slow down and break down. Threshold brings you just under that break down point where you can sustain it. And the testing protocol is really supposed to give you an approximation for what you can hold for an hour before that lactate starts to build up at a rate faster than the body can clear it. So if you're above that level, you're building up lactate too fast for the body to clear in real time. And if you're below that level, well, you you're in that safe zone and you can kind of ride indefinitely, failing anything else like not bringing enough fuel on board or just kind of soreness or whatever other types of you know, mitigating factors there might be to break you down. It, lactate will not be the mitigating factor. So in the course of an entire ride, you can ride over that threshold rate and then clear that lactate by recovering under that threshold rate. That's a lot of what you're going to see in structured training. Really high intensity and then a chance to kind of clear that lactate and recover and then coming back to high intensity and clear that lactate and recover. So we'll look at that more in detail when I show you the different zones. So lactate threshold in particular needs to be tested in a lab. You need to have somebody taking your blood and testing how many millimoles of lactate are in the system and to see how quickly the body is clearing it. It's not really a practical application for most of us. It's not repeatable. You're not going to be able to do it all that often. It's expensive and it really doesn't have a whole lot of value. So what researchers have come up with is the ability to get a really good approximation of that number without having to get pricked with a needle and have your blood tested. And that's done through repeatable testing. All you need is a power meter and a bike, and then you do certain structured style of testing, and that is going to elicit a number for you that's going to give you an approximation of that lactate threshold. 